All right, everybody, hi. My name is Graham and I'm 12 years old and here's my website. So up here we've got our calculator section. It's got standard things you might find, like multiplications. Then down here it's got some miscellaneous stuff. Mad Libs, give me a verb, sit, noun, um, hat, and it gives you the national anthem of the United States, but with the things that you've entered. <laughs> oh, say can you say? Yes, yes I can, thank you very much. So yeah, that's my website, pretty much. Right, good job. Code Dojo is a uh, safe space for kids to learn how to code and it's a place where you can come and just feel like you're amongst your own people. Some people make games, some people make like quizzes, other people make stories. There's just a lot of variation. I have to change the stage. I want the stage to be like a storytelling. Fairy tale. It's like a fairy tale background. Once I start it, I want them to glide over here. So Scratch is a very basic programming language. You just drag and drop blocks from one part of the screen to the other part of the screen. As long as you know how to read, you can do Scratch. During the course of the session today, we're going to start with presentation. Our presentation is going to present a topic to our ninjas. Once the topic is presented, they need to create a project with that topic in mind. You know, we do a lot more mentoring than teaching, really, and we want them to learn with other kids. We want them to learn with other mentors, and sometimes learning with someone that you don't know is a great way to learn. Giving them the skills to succeed on their own is incredible, and then seeing them do that over and over and over again is amazing. If you're walking around and you don't see anyone with raised hands, stop in and just kind of checking in with the students and saying, hey, what are you working on? Um, sometimes that'll really help. What we've been working on is designing a program for them that helps them build leadership skills. We have what's called a mastery, and so you can get a mastery in different languages. Then they are eligible to become a junior mentor. Being a junior mentor, I feel like I'm able to like get them out of their comfort zone a bit more. and I get to like form friendships with the kids that I'm helping, encourage them pr to present, and then I get to see how happy they are after they presented. The junior mentors are just coming out of that student role, and so they know exactly how that student feels. You have that peer-to-peer -peer, um, interaction. I was really nervous the first time I raised my hand, but they like didn't judge, they don't laugh at you. It's just really nice. When I started looking into becoming a developer, having women mentors and seeing women who maybe have come from the same area I've come from or are making that jump to a new career in technology, I think that that does give you that role model to look up to and to see that what you're trying to do is possible. Having that representation, sometimes having a more diverse set of mentors, a more diverse set of students, I can imagine it's the same for any kid. You know, you have people um, that you can see yourself being and it helps you to make that jump. It's just like whenever you're coding, you can do anything you want to with it. I want my story to be told. And so the more I practice, the more experience I'll have. So I can tell more inspiring stories where you can do whatever you want to and as long as you keep trying, then you'll succeed. Funding for this program was provided by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting as part of the public media initiative, American Graduate, Getting to Work.